with chemistry paper tomorrow for ICSC 2023. We are going to have a quick revision on chemistry MCQs. So I have here chemistry revision MCQ paper and let us just quickly run through this. Number one, the element with the highest ionization potential in the periodic table is helium. You need to know that by heart. Number two, inert gas in period three will be argon. Third, the most appropriate description for alkali metals, they are non-metallic, no, they have least atomic radius, no, they are strong reducing agent, yes, they have large IP, no, they have small IP. So C is the correct option. The fourth one, state the group and period of the following element in the periodic table where X is 40, 20. The atomic number is 20 which means it is going to have configuration 2, 8, 8, 2. This is 10 and this is 10, that's 20. Now how many shells do you see? 4. So it is period 4. So I can take either of these. But how many valence electrons are there? So it's going to be 2 valence electrons. So group not 4A but 2A and this is the correct option. Arrange the group 2A metals in the increasing order of atomic radius. Now atomic radius which means it is going to be this way. This will be your period 2, 3, 4, 5 like so. Now we know that uh, oh, our, our period 2 group 2 is beryllium. So we will have beryllium then Mg then Ca and then SR and BA. Can you see this over here? They have interchanged this. But of course, this portion is not in our syllabus. So this, this is slightly out of the syllabus. I got this from one of the prelim papers, this question. So I'm just telling you that this is the correct option. After calcium, it will be SR and BA. So this is the correct option. The number of lone pair of electrons in oxygen atom in water molecule. Now oxygen is two lone pairs here then this is shared with H and H these two electrons correct. So how many lone pairs you see two so B is the option. Seven elements with same number of shells in the periodic table belong to the now, if the number of shells are same, it will be the same period. So, this is the correct option. Let's check what are the other options here. Different group, different period, same group. No, it is same period. Number 8. Hydronium ion is formed when a molecule of water combines with. Now, water combines with a hydrogen ion. Now hydrogen ion is only one proton, it does not have electron, so it's not the atom, it will be proton, means only one proton is inside, so this you be careful of. They tell you proton, but remember hydrogen has only one proton and that one electron is gone, so it has got positive charge. Let us come to the ninth one, the formation of the ionic bond. In ionic bond, the metal is reduced. Is metal reduced? If I take Na, is it taking electron and becoming Na1 minus? No. So metal is not reduced. What does it do? Na loses one electron and it becomes Na1 plus and this electron is taken by chlorine if we have to take the example of NaCl. So metal is oxidized and non-metal is reduced is the correct option. The metal gains electrons is wrong and none of these also is wrong. Number 10, the element has two electrons in its M shell. Now we know that M shell is the third shell. So third shell has two. So earlier two shells must be having two and eight. So it is now eight and two, 10 and two, 12. So C is the correct option. So this is giving you a good revision of MCQs. State the valency of M in the given formula of the compound M2O. Now this is M2O. Now this 2 has come from here 2 minus. So oxygen this 1 
will come from here. Now oxygen really has 2 minus valency, right? So M will have 1 plus, so this will be the correct option. The bond in methane, methane looks like this. All these are H's here. So there are four single covalent bonds. Does it have double one? Does it have triple covalent bond? Does it have something like this? No. So it is single covalent bond. This is the correct option. 13th one, an example of polar covalent bond is polar covalent bond is 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 not nitrogen nitrogen is non-polar because nitrogen is like this carbon tetrachloride is like this so it is non-polar again sodium oxide is ionic so polar covalent is water as we saw earlier it is h o and h so this electron pair is pulled towards oxygen developing slightly negative charge here and slightly positive charge here so water is the correct option I have got about 40 of these for your revision. Just see if it is going to be helpful to you. A nitrogen molecule have. Now, of course, we just now saw it will have triple covalent bond. So that is the answer. Let us come to the next one. Which of the following is an ionic bond? Covalent, 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 ionic. So calcium chloride. Ionic will be between a metal and a non-metal. Okay, all these are non-metallic. Choose the strong alkali from the following. Now which one will be strong alkali here? Right on top of EC series. Which element, which atom do you see? KOH. So this will be the strong alkali. 17th. A, B, C are three elements having the atomic numbers 2, 5 and 10. So A is going to be 2. Your B is going to be 2, 3. And your C is going to be 2, 8. So this is going to be helium. This is going to be again neon. Which of the following elements belong to the same period? Now same period means same number of shells. So which one has this as one shell? These are two shells and two shells. So this will be B and C the correct option. And element A belongs to the third period and group 60. So third period means it will be 2, 8 and group 6, A means 6. So it is 2, 8, 6. The valency of this element, now this is going to be a non-metal here. This should be cancelled. Non-metal here and it is going to accept two electrons. So it will be 2 minus. So the non-metal is going to have valency 2. An element has atomic number 19. Quickly write the electronic configuration. Name the category to which this element belongs. Alkali earth metals means group 2A. This is group 1A. 1A means alkali metals. So this will be alkali metals. Halogen will have 7 in the last shell. Let us come to 20. A compound which when dissolved in water undergoes ionization. Identify the chemical bond present in the compound. Now if it is a compound which undergoes ionization, which means it did not have ions before which means it had molecules if it had molecules then it has to be covalent bond all right now when it dissociates in water water is a polar solvent so it is going to exert the pull so it cannot exert the pull in the non-polar covalent bond it has to be polar covalent bond now, if you are confused about this, quickly go and revise this concept in your textbook. 21. Which of the following statements is not true? Across the period, atomic size, it decreases like this from big size to become small size. So, it decreases. So, what they are telling increases is not true. So, this is the correct option. Across the period, IP increases because your group 7A will not get ionized easily that means ionization energy is more here so it is correct here so we can't take this across the period non-metallic character yes it does increases from metallic we go to non-metallic so this also is correct so we can't take this across the period electron affinity also increases group 7 has more electron affinity is correct so this also is correct so we can't take this the correct option is a which of the statements is applicable to the given ionic equation? 
y plus an electron gives y 1 minus. Now when it is gain of electron, is it getting oxidized or reduced? It is getting reduced. So the other options are wrong. 23rd, when NaCl dissolves in water, it separates into Na1 plus, it should be here, and Cl1 minus, it should be here, and the process is going to be, now, is it ionization? Did it have molecules here? No, there were ions in this compound, which were held together by strong electrostatic force of attraction and the ions got separated. So that is your dissociation. Okay. So this B is the correct option. 24. Which of the following is soluble in organic solvents? Now organic solvents will have covalent compounds dissolving. Lead nitrate is ionic, so it will not dissolve. Ammonium chloride is again ionic, although ammonium has covalent and coordinate covalent bond. Carbon tetrachloride is covalent and sodium chloride is ionic. In organic solvent, organic compounds will dissolve. So correct option is C. State which is not characteristic of an electrovalent compound. Electrovalent compound have high melting point. Yes, is true. They conduct electricity not in solid but in molten or aqueous state is correct. They consist of oppositely charged ions is correct. So we cannot take it. Ionized when dissolved in water. Now ionized when dissolved in water. They are not going to ionize. They will get dissociated. So the word over here is wrong. It, it cannot be ionizes. It will be they dissociate so this is wrong so that is not the characteristic of the electrovalent compound so that is our correct option 26 give a chemical term for the following statement a bond formed by sharing electrons where the shared pair of electrons come from the same atom which means it is coordinate covalent bond we know the definitions by heart right now 27th, the drying agent used to dry hydrogen chloride is going to be acidic. None of these, but it will be C. This will be concentrated sulfuric acid. Are you getting a good revision? 28 to 1. The anion discharged at the anode with most difficulty. Now remember the one which discharged most easily will be right at the bottom of the EC series. So remember your EC series is SO4 2 minus, then we have NO3 1 minus, then we have Cl, BRI and then we have OH. So the one which will be easily discharged will be this and this will be with difficulty. So the correct option is A. Come to 28, the element having least electronegativity, least electronegativity is going to be more metallic in nature. Now, which one is a metal over here? Cesium is there, lithium, now iodine. Now, there are two metals over here. Can you see that? So, you will have across the period, your electronegativity is going to increase and down the group, electronegativity is going to decrease. Now, lithium is going to be here and cesium is going to be over here. So when cesium is here, it will have less electronegativity. So which one will be the least electronegativity? It will be this. The main components of magnesium are Mg and Al. Where does it show aluminium, manganese? No, magnesium. This is the correct one. Not this, this is for duralmin. Let us come to 30. The molecule containing three single covalent bond is now, where are three single covalent bonds? In ammonia, definitely. Can you see that? Three single covalent bonds are here with this lone pair. Methane has four, water has two, nitrogen has a triple bond. So, this is correct. So, you should be able to answer these questions like so. Make sure that you are revising the work well. A weak electrolyte is. Weak electrolytes should have ions and molecules. It will not have 
ions mostly alcohol will have molecules only so only molecules no potassium hydroxide will have only almost all ions ammonium hydroxide will be the correct option because this is a weak base d is glucose it will only have molecules so we cannot take that so the correct option is c 33rd electron affinity is maximum in now electron affinity across the period it increases and down the group it decreases you need to know the trends by heart so where is electron affinity maximum if it is decreasing so here it is more and from this more it's becoming still more so on the top right hand corner it is going to be maximum top right hand corner this side you will have the halogens correct not inert gases electron affinity for inert gases is zero so the correct option is halogen 34 the main components of bronze are copper tin copper lead copper iron and copper zinc now bronze is made of copper zinc and SN if you take copper and tin that is correct but it also has copper and zinc but copper and zinc in bronze zinc is only one percent but the tin is about 19 percent so you'll see the main ones are copper and tin so that is the correct option a polar covalent compound is from here which one is the polar covalent this is non-polar this one is polar this one is non-polar because it is n triple bond n chlorine also is cl single bond cl and methane is again the electron pairs are equally distributed but for ammonia as i showed you earlier it is three over here uh, h and n bonds here and they are unequally shared so ammonia is the correct option an acid having two replaceable hydrogen ions will be something like h2so4 but not hcl not acetic acid phosphoric will be h3po4 carbonic acid is h2co3 again like h2so4 it has two hydrogen ions per molecule of it so carbonic acid is the correct option 37 the hydroxide which is soluble in excess of NaOH is soluble in NaOH will be Zn, Al or Pb the amphoteric metals where are these not this not this this is the one lead hydroxide correct the relative molecular mass of CO2 is 44 so if RMM is equal to 44 RMM and vapor density what is the connection 2 into vapor density is equal to 44 what will be vapor density 44.2 means 22 so A is the correct option we have now nearly finished the whole paper I told you I have 40 questions so we now come to 39 the catalyst used in Haber's process is Haber's process is for the industrial preparation of ammonia correct so it's going to be finely divided iron promote is molybdenum we don't have platinum this and this so correct one is iron which one is the formula of propanoic acid now prop means there are three carbons and in your here means all are single bonds and oic acid means it is double bond o and single bond h so it will be ch3 CH2 COOH now this is going to be C2H5 so it will be C2H5 COOH where is it here it is so this is the correct option so now you saw that solving MCQs is not a big deal we are going to have just 15 marks worth of MCQs in section 1 that is the compulsory section I hope this has given you enough revision and enough confidence about tomorrow's paper do your work well all the best okay do your work nicely cleverly wisely and all the best for all your future endeavors bye